Well, home sweet home. We're uh, just stopping so Christy can get uh, a blanket for tonight. But I have this incredible story that I need to share about Barbara and Loretta. And we were at the uh, at the store. Uh, I had to go get some more teas. And you're not going to believe it. So hold tight. We're going to go inside, uh, unpack, and eat a little bit, and then wait till you hear this story. God is so awesome. God is good. But here I am, my first night back at Wildwood. All right, we're in the... <laughs> She's so funny. She's like... <laughs> we're in the RV. This is the first night. And like I said, I, I have a story to tell about the, uh, the store when we went shopping um, for our teas and everything. So I walk into the store, and first of all, um, I was greeted by the chef from Wildwood. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I believe his name is Pablo, so I talked to him for quite a while. It was just wonderful to see him. And he was so excited about the medical missionary program. And then, then the other cook came, and she's like, you know, yep. she's like... They're all excited. They're all excited. I mean, it's like I left home, and everybody's just like, welcome me. I'm in this little store. And I go inside the store, and there's my, um, my other hydro angel, Lil, Lilla. Oh, and she's such a good friend now. I mean, I just love her. And she hugged me right away. And she's so happy to see me. And we started talking. And then here comes this lady beelining for me. And I've seen that look before, you know, when they beeline. Yeah. Because they know me. And she came up and um, she's like, she, I just watched your video. <laughs> she says, you're not going to believe this. I just watched your video a couple days ago. And then she proceeded to tell her story. And uh, this is the story of Barbara and Loretta. Mm -hmm. So Barbara lives in Minnesota with her sister Loretta and she said that she had been on YouTube just randomly looking through videos and she said you know I've just been feeling like really depressed lately and just kind of sad she says you know I help take care of my sister she says you know what it's like to be a caretaker you know it's a it's a it's, well, yeah. a, it's a full-time job you know I, I think about my brother and you know he too struggles with being a caretaker um, he struggles with depression and just uh, you know he's got health issues he's got a lot on his plate so we understand you know um, that position and um, so she she said uh, here I am randomly watching YouTube and she said all of a sudden your your video popped up mm-hmm and I, I'm thinking, oh, this, this is God. This, this is how God right. works. This is how He works. So uh, she said it, it, it kept popping up in the sidebar, and yeah, she said, she, I, she mentioned something about she saw yours, she saw mine, and then she's like, oh, yeah, you she were saw, in Wisconsin. And then she's next thing you know, you're you're in Wisconsin, and she's like, you're getting out of the doctor's office, and you're in Wisconsin now. Yeah. So she had watched Chris. She she had seen Christie's too. Yeah. It, they both popped up, and then, so she picked the one. God picked the one, mm -hmm. the Wildwood one. She said, I seen the one with, about Wildwood and she watched, she said, what did she say? Two Wildwood videos? Mm -hmm. And there was two Wildwood videos. And she's like, and you're walking around describing Wildwood. And she said, you know, I knew. She's like, I recognize that place. Yeah. Yeah. She kind of knew. She, yeah, she well, kind of had like heard inside. about Wildwood. And she's like, what? I know I, I've heard of this place. And uh, she just, she's apparently the Holy Spirit convicted her because the very next day, she yeah. said the very next day she picked up the phone and called Wildwood. And she said, Oh, she's talking, talking, talking to the to the lady, and before she knew it, her and her sister are at Wildwood. Yeah. For the twenty two for the twenty two day. Yeah. Twenty two day. But uh you know, and, and it was and as she was talking, this uh, Lilla was listening and, and Christie's ha has heard this before, the power of how God works in my life and how he touches people and how he orchestrates these things right. but i looked at barbara and i said you know this is god that's right god the holy spirit had you find that video the holy spirit knew your heart it, it, he heard you he knew you how you felt he knew your sister needed help and out of all the videos on uh, millions know. of videos on youtube think about that yeah she finds my video yeah about wildwood and now she's at Wildwood, and here she is shopping and getting all her stuff, and her sister yeah, there. She's and, all excited. Oh man! Yeah. And, and it was um, so. And Lil, Lila, her eyes were like this big, and I said, "This is see, this is why I record my life, because I told Christy if it just touches one person, that's right. If one person gets to come to Wildwood, and their life can be changed, 
if it can reverse their disease, it can reverse their hopelessness, it can get them back in the, on, on, on the, the right track with their health and what they're going through. I mean, this place is a miracle place. Yeah. And I mean, Christy sees it. I mean, oh, yeah, I see she, it. Yeah. Yep. She comes back and she's like, oh, man, you are, you are blessed. Yeah. I it said, is. That's why you can feel leave. it because, and in the, just within the people, too. That's why I'm like, I would have loved to be here, but, but uh, I know, I, I know this is for the Lord. I mean, that was confirmation for me. Yeah. And then the beautiful thing is later on, um, I was, I continued shopping and here is a uh, Loretta, her sister and I, and I bumped into her and yeah. I'm like, are you Loretta? And she's like, oh yeah. And I, and, and she needed <laughs> some help with some of the supplements. She was looking for some charcoal and some other things. And, um, I just, I said, oh, I heard about, oh, and, and, and Barbara and uh, told us about their, their, their bus ride. Oh yeah. Cause she's afraid of flying. She said, yeah, she's, they took a bus yeah. from Minneapolis. Yeah. yeah that's, that's. That probably took them a week to get her. <laughs> well, and you've seen the snow back in Wisconsin for us. So their bus, when they left Minneapolis, hit black ice. Yeah. And spun out of control. Yeah. And went into the ditch. And they didn't flip over. She's like, well, we didn't flip over. I'm like, well, yeah. Did still. Did she, she say the bus hit, some, hit somebody? Yeah, hit somebody. And it, it, black ice. And that was a yeah. disaster. And then they had the story. She didn't tell it all, but she said there was like a racial war going on on the bus. Yeah, on the bus. People were fighting over cigarettes and cigarettes, swearing. Because the bus driver didn't stop. I think they needed to get out and smoke have or like a cigarette, cigarette break. Yeah. So they were, I'm like, yes. Yeah. People get hostile when they don't have their cigarettes. And poor Loretta, she said she had her head like this. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, her sister was covering her ears because of all the, va the profound profanity that, that they were out. swearing. and Yeah. yeah. And I said, you know, the angels were watching over you guys. God really wanted you to come. To try it. And he protected you. He protected you. And he got you down here. He got you down here. So, um, I mean, I'm just, oh, I'm so excited. I, I heard that. This is the first day. Yeah. And I, and I told Barbara, don't worry, I'm, I'll be running into you because I'm a student here. She's going to be here for 22 days. So I'm really um, hoping I'll connect with her. Yeah. And, uh, and it was funny because when I was in the store, other people were coming up to me and saying, oh, what about this supplement? And can I get this? And I'm like felt like I worked there. <laughs> I was like, how do they even know who I am? And they were asking 101 questions. So I know this is where God wants me. But I wanted to share that um, because it was really powerful. And it also just confirms that God can use us as vessels. That's right. And he can, and he can use us um, in, in so many different ways. And like for me, it's a confirmation that my YouTube channel, what I'm doing, does glorify God. And he is using it. He is using it. He's using it. So, there we go. I'm so happy. <laughs> and we're, and we're, we're getting things all organized. My sister's doing a good job. It's Not a little, right now. It's like a bit disaster. Of, well, she thinks it's a disaster. It, it is a little bit. Oh, look at is. that. But it's looking good. Uh-huh. And I have internet connection. And um, we got our heater going tonight. And we're, this is my first night in my bed. Oh, I'm so happy. I got to see Mary tonight. And I've seen so many people at the store. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. So, and one of the things, I know this is growing into seven minutes, but one um, other thing, the importance of what Wildwood does. I really am going to sit down um, once I get organized with school and everything and talk to you friends about Wildwood and the program. And because I think there's a lot of people out there searching for, um, they're, they're, they're sick, they're tired, they yeah. feel hard's work. And that's why I was interested in the missionary program because that was their that was their goal to do God's work for God's kingdom. So there we go. There you go. There we go. All right. All right. God bless you, friends. <laughs> we'll have more. I'm so excited. This is the last time I'm gonna see my sister. So last say goodbye. Time. Say goodbye. Bye. Well, for for now. <laughs> for us together. All right. God bless you guys. Bye. We love you. Bye bye. <laughs>